Hi, this is Maya with RICO. This video is about redactions in relativity. Redactions are controlled by what we call markup sets. A markup set is like a layer that goes over your TIFF image that you can draw redactions on and interact with in a dynamic fashion. There's a great field in relativity for your markup set and it shows you which documents have redactions. So when you're looking to find the set of documents that you need to redact, you can query the responsiveness privileged needs redaction tags and then double check the markup set fields for each of your redaction sets and uh, see which ones still need redactions. This database has two different markup sets because we have uh, two different jurisdictions that we need to make productions for with different kinds of redactions. You can have many different markup sets for each jurisdiction or whatever requirement for making redactions you have, but we recommend that you only use one markup set per production. I'm going to go ahead and click into our core reviewer interface and we will start making redactions. In order to make the redaction, you need to have a, an image radio button. You can see here is our viewer and our image and our extracted text. Now, if you don't have an image, you'll need to create an image. And you can check out our last uh, video on how to make TIFF images to get that image radio button. Um, the toolbars between those two are different. You can see here we've just got some basic navigation in our native viewer and when we select the image radio button our toolbars are different and we have our basic navigation we can zoom in to see our text a little more clearly and we can resize the whole page we can rotate the images but then we have these tools here um, this will be a selection tool to select your markups once you have them and then the redaction options start um, real quick, down at the bottom, we have our redaction navigation and we have our uh, markup sets. You need to make sure that you pick the correct markup set that you're working in. We're going to do primaries today. And these names of the markup sets, you can change the names. You can see we've got primary. That's just the default markup set in relativity. But we also added jurisdiction too. So you can see we have a lot of different redactions. Um, across both of these and our markup navigation shows us which markup set is being used for each of these different redactions. So I'll close that and we're just going to start redacting. The first option we have is our click and drag text box um, or the black cross or white options. I'm going to use text to redact our account information. You can see here that the text is automatically applied for the text box, but we can also right click and get some other options. We can select the different default text that we want to have, or we can edit our own text as needed. Um, the text is controlled by this drop down button here. Right now it's set to auto. This means that if I resize the box, the text font size is going to change based on the size of the redaction box. You can also change the font size manually. So another option we have here is the inverse redaction tool. This tool will reveal any text that you select and it will hide everything else. So you can see the rest of the full page is blue. That means that when we burn in the redactions to make our production image, the only thing that you're going to see is the text that is revealed in this white box, which can also be resized. To delete one of our markups, we can right click on the markup itself and select delete. Another option we have here is a full page redaction. We have our black cross text and white um, options available. And when you select that, it's going to blank out the whole page with whatever redaction type you select. You can also mass redact with this icon here. 
This gives you the ability to select your redaction type. This is going to blank out all of the pages that you select in the page range here. All pages, current page or your page range. And you can type it in just like that. And when you select mass redact, it'll select mass redact all of those pages with your selected redaction type. If you want to mass delete redactions, you can select the little trash can icon. This is your mass delete markups wizard. Um, you get to select your markup types and which pages you want to delete. Now, once you get into the QC phase, um, that's a great time to, you know, open up your markup navigation and select the redactions that you want to look at. And then you can use this eyeball icon here at the top. This is your markup visibility. Currently it's set as solid, but you can also update the translucency so that it's transparent. You can sort of see the text behind it, or you can hide it all together by clicking it a third time. Once you are ready for your production, you will go through the relativity production process where the redactions will be burned into the image, the endorsements will be applied along with any, you know, Bates numbers and confidentiality stamps and so forth. Once that's done, you're going to get a new radio button here, which I'll show you in a minute. And you can have as many production images as you have production. So all of your records will be found in one place and all the versions of your documents that have been sent out will all be within the one record that you're looking at. I'm going to just pause the video for a second. I'm going to go find a record with a production image so you can see what that looks like. So here we have our produced record that has a redaction. You can see that I can still interact with the redaction on my markup set primary. And I can navigate to the production radio button. And you can see that this is just a static TIFF image with no ability to change the redactions. And then there's your endorsements at the bottom. And this drop down will show you all of the various copies of your documents for your various productions. And um, along with this process, when you make your production, you will need to OCR your documents so that the you know, redacted text is um, whatever is hidden underneath the image, you don't produce directly from the extracted text view. You'll actually OCR the document and produce just the text that you see on the face of the production record. So that was the crash course in markup sets, how to make redactions, how to QC redactions, and how to look at the various copies of your production images once your production's been run. Thanks so much for joining me today. Happy reviewing.